and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a photo collage. Here are a couple of tips that you can use. So at first make the snapping enabled, the default should be fine. I've got a couple of images here, you can download them on Unsplash. I use the polygon tool, make it six corners to have this hexagon. I hold control when I drag that. You can just copy that, pressing Ctrl D, or right click duplicate. And when you've got the snapping enabled, you can snap them to each other, just like that. Let me create, I don't know, seven, something like that. And I'll show the first problem I ran into. So when you drag a photo right there, it doesn't really give you a good visual mark where you want to put it, so size it all up so that it's bigger than the shapes that you want to clip it to. Make sure that it's on top with the top menu, so in the hierarchy. Then put it to the bottom. A good idea is to go to object, fill and stroke and reduce the opacity of your shapes. That way you can see it even better. Also, it's good to give it a stroke, even though you don't want to use it. That way you can see the frames. When you now want to move it, you can see that it automatically switches to these shapes. So another tip, make the photos on top have a lesser or a decreased opacity, and then Reposition that, put it to the bottom, shift click on the shape and then right click and clip. So that's the best approach to use when you want to create these regular collages. Let me do that again. So I decrease opacity, reposition that, then I put it to the bottom in the hierarchy. I hold shift and I click on the shape, right click and clip. Don't forget to increase your opacity afterwards. So with this approach, we've got the photos directly stacked or directly positioned next to one another. Let me add a third one. I zoom in and there you go. So there is no real border or frame. If you want to create that, let me show you how I've solved that problem. So I'll create a new one. Once again, I need a polygon tool. I still hold control when I drag that. Let me make that a bit smaller. Right now it doesn't have a stroke, so it only has a fill. And now I use guides. I've got the snapping enabled, so the snap to these corner points. When you can't see your rulers, press Ctrl R. For the last one, I zoom a little bit in. And that's fine. Now I use the Bezier tool and I click on these intersections and create a rectangle. Also, give that a fill and no stroke. Now we can go to File, Document Properties. Guides and delete all guides. We don't need that anymore. Now select this black rectangle, press Ctrl D and copy it and position it on all of the sides that you've got. Put one to the top, select the rest, click on it again and rotate it while holding Ctrl. That way you can position them quite well. So it's always pressing Ctrl D to duplicate. I need to rotate it once more. So once you've got that, you've got your frame. So you only need to select the inner hexagon, press Ctrl D, and the snapping helps you in positioning them. Afterwards, zoom in and get rid of the black frame if you want to have it transparent. 
I did that in a thumbnail of this video. But you could also keep it and use the Bezier tool to cover all of these intersections and give it a, I don't know, black or white frame, whatever you need. But I want to have it transparent here. Not approach is the same as before. So play around with the opacity and the hierarchy. Use a shift click, then right click and clip. Let me add a third image. Shift click, right click and clip. And if I zoom in, we've now got this transparent frame that separates all of these hexagon collage parts. So these are the tips I would give you if you want to create a photo collage with any shape so it doesn't have to be hexagons in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you next time.